um, we can here do it here. So I will go to the backend of WordPress. This WordPress system, you know, you can install um, H5P on WordPress, on Moodle, and on Drupal, and whatever. Uh, there's one slight catch if you're running on WordPress on Drupal, but uh, on Moodle, but I will show you that in a minute. So if you want to create HRFE content, you go over here and you click on all, you can click on add new. And uh, now on top, you see the AR scavenger content type, which you can create. That is nothing special in H5P. And uh, you will get the, the editor that you know. And of course, the one thing you will have to do, we have to give it the title. And of course, the famous test title. So what you could add, you could add like a title screen that you saw, but I will leave that out now. And um, it's not, not much that you have to do. So first of all, of course, you will have to have these markers and uh, you can upload an image. So when I prepared some images, not the bird, we could use the bird, but um, the bird would actually be tricky because it's like very detailed and the markers, that is like a downside of the, the library that I'm using, um, they cannot be that detailed. It, 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 it works fine, um, but it can be tricky to, uh, it doesn't work fine, it works, but it can be tricky to detect an image like that one. But on the desktop, I have these two. Let's start with the hero marker. So we kind of rebuild what I've showed you. So um, they work good. If you have like high contrast images like this one, which is black and white, high contrast, that works. And if they're asymmetrical, because if uh, you want to have a 3D model and you want to go around it, uh, so the, the content type will have to know where you're standing and from where you're looking at it, from, from what angle. So they should be asymmetrical. So this one is pretty nice. So it's high contrast, it has um, hero, which is asymmetrical, so everything should work fine. So we'll add that one. And now you will see um, the content type creates like a black border around it, and then a white border around it. That helps the library just to find it, because otherwise it would scan for hero everywhere, and not just like in, in this white squarish area. So. Um, if you would like to use this marker, you would just download it and then you can put it on a web page or you can uh, put it on a piece of paper or whatever you would like to use it. So this one is the thing that the, the content type will look for. You can download it. And uh, then we have to decide, okay, what would we like to have? Would we like to have an H5P interaction or would we like to have a 3D model? So H5P interaction is the default. So we can just choose one of these. I think I, I copied everything that was in column, so um, there may be some that are missing, but in theory, everything should work. So um, we had a multiple choice question. I don't know, let's just take an image. Um, nothing fancy here, you know how images work. So let's just upload hero again, maybe. And uh, yeah, hero marker. So yeah, we set up interaction. So now if you, um, if you would start the, the content type and the um, camera would find this hero marker here, then it would show the image, just like before where we had the multiple choice question. And maybe we could add a second marker and we can make that one, maybe the more interesting one, um, uh, a 3D model. So um, let's take the duck image. So again, it would create the marker for you that you can download and um, then you can choose the 3D model, and I'll just have a quick in the chat. Um, uh, yeah, Matt, Matt is correct. Matt is asking um, if you have downloaded everything. So if you started the content type, you don't need an internet connection. That is correct. So uh, once you have uh, started the content type and it has loaded everything, then you can, in theory, switch off all your internet connections and uh, it, will st it would still work. Yeah. So um, let's uh, add a 3D model. So I have prepared that as well. Um, yeah, 3D models, good, good um, thing. As you can see, there is this file which is called docgltf, and gltf is a pretty common format to load 3D images or well, for 3D models. And um, the one extension is gltf, the other extension is glb. So you can use those images. And uh, if you have a look at the web post um, that I shared with you before, you can uh, uh, find lots of links uh, where you can download those models. And of course you can create them yourself, but the important thing, it just supports GLTF and GLB right now. It could be more later on, but the first version, just this one, but it's in general, it's, it's fine. 
So now we have the duck, and as you can see, you have this preview here, and as you can see, the down there you already have your marker which is loaded and now you can see um, uh, this duck is not facing like out of the marker but like before when I when I had a look at it so we'd have to rotate it and rescale it a little bit because maybe it's too big but uh, you can see it in relation to the marker so um, if you use it later you will really see how the user will see it and yeah um, we can just open this one and I guess we can make it like half 50 percent maybe that's good so this is kind of exactly the size that the marker has and now we'll have to to turn it a little um i guess this one is the y-axis and this one is the z-axis so okay that's nice okay now it's showing our, us the back but i guess that's okay and um i guess if we say just 90 no uh, let's jump in it. let's look at the back of the, the duck and uh, maybe so it doesn't uh, uh, it isn't hidden in the marker I guess we'll have to move that a little up a little oh, it's the wrong one of course which is why which this is why so okay it's not perfect but um, this is now the po position of our duck so the duck is looking at the marker and um, yeah we can can just save it now and uh, let's see if we can I, I would have to get it on the phone so um yeah let's just try it out yourself because you can right now